हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिसेस शैलजा दुड्डी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द हाइट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेथड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू डिफाइन द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ वेरियस at the end of this session the students will able to define the various methods of the register level and the students will able to calculate the difference in elevations by the height of instrument method reduction of levels determination of the heights of various points from the staff reading is called as reduction of level or it is called as the reduced level to measure the heights of various points on the earth surface we will use the dumpy level and the leveling staff so with the help of the dumpy level whatever height we will measure on the leveling staff it is called as the staff reading now we are having two methods of the reduction levels means to determine the reduced the levels of the various points we are having two methods that is collimation plane method and rise and fall method collimation plane method is again called as the height of instrument method so in now in this lecture we will see how to find out the heights of various points by height of instrument method so in this method the elevation of collimation plane for every setup of instrument is calculated and then the reduced levels of each points are calculated with respect to the plane of collimation plane of collimation means it is the height of the instrument from the surface of the ground level now we will see with the example how to calculate the reduced levels so in this figure the dumpy level is set up at this height okay and bm indicates as the benchmark so this height from the ground surface is called as height of instrument and this level is called as collimation plane level now we will see how to find out the reduced levels by collimation plane method so this is the table used in the field work to find out the reduced level so this figure indicates as the foresight and backside and the foresight of the survey line and this line indicates the height of instrument from the ground surface bm stands for benchmark and we should know the reduced level of the benchmark by measuring the staff reading we can calculate the collimation plane method now now we will see how to find out the reduced level by collimation plane method in this figure they have given the two setup of the instrument that is setup 1 and setup 2 so the reduced level of the benchmark is given as 100 meter here and the staff readings these are uh, this 1.675 this 0.985 are the staff readings taken on the leveling staff by the dumpy level so when we will start the survey with the dumpy level the first reading should be always the backside reading so this 1.675 should be written in the back side column and here 0.985 and 1.3202 two readings are there before shifting the instrument cp indicates that change shifting the instrument from one position to the another position so the last reading from the first station is called as the foresight reading so here before shifting the instrument this 1.320 is the last reading so it should be written in the foresight column and the intermediate reading that is 0.985 it should be written in the intermediate side reading so after changing the instrument we have to take again back side reading on the same leveling staff reading from the another station so this 0.680 will be the back side reading so it should be written in the back side column and the last reading is and the last reading is given as uh, 1.795 meter uh, meter from the leveling staff 
so it should be the last reading which is written in the four side columns okay so likewise first of all you have to write down all the given readings in respective columns initial reduced level of benchmark is given as 100 meters so first we have to calculate the collimation plane reduced to level so it is nothing but the height of instrument from the ground surface okay so that we have to measure with respect to the given benchmark so here we are having the staff reading leveling staff reading on the benchmark is 1.675 so the collimation plane height should be the reduced to level of the benchmark plus the back side reading on the benchmark so the collimation plane height should be the 1.1 101.675 now we have to calculate the remaining reduced star levels with respect to the this collimation height so here the reduced star level of this station b is calculated as collimation plane height at station a minus the intermediate site reading at station b so it will give the 100.69 meter that is the reduced level of station b and again at c after read, uh, staff reading of 1.320 meter we have shifted the instrument from uh, this station 1 to station 2 so here the the height of instrument again will change so the height of instrument here should be the reduced level of the station c so the uh, reduced to level of station c is is calculated as the collimation height minus the foresight reading at the station c so it should be 101.675 minus 1.320 we will get the reduced to level of station c is 100.355 after this uh, staff reading that is foresight we have shifted the instrument from one station to another station so here the height of instrument will change because the earth surface is not same or we are having the variations in the earth surface so when we shift the instrument from one station to another station the height of instrument is also change so here the height of instrument we have to calculate again that is the reduced bearing of the station c plus the back side reading at the station c so it will be 100.355 plus 0.68 that will be the new height of the instrument at station b it should be 101.035 meter then the reduced level of station d is calculated that is new collimation plane height minus the foresight reading it will give the 99.240 meter that is the reduced level of the last station d now how uh, whatever reduced levels we have calculated whether those are correct or not correct that we have to check with arithmetical check now we will check whatever reduced level we have calculated those are correct or not so those will be checked by arithmetical check okay so the this check is carried by taking the difference of sum of all the back sides and the sum of all the four sides should be equal to the difference of the last reduced level and the first reduced level so when you will get this difference as same so it is called as whatever reduced levels we have calculated it is correct so it is the explanation given how to calculate the reduced levels now it is the example given to calculate the reduced levels of all the stations so now take a some time and solve this problem so these are the answers for the given problem these are the references considered for the study thank you